All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Sharp Moves. Today we saw, got something really special. We're here with a 2021 ES350. Okay, it's the base model, uh, but it's a brand new current 2021 model. I've been ripping around in this car, you know, probably for about a week now. I've really gotten sort of a good idea as to how it drives, how it feels, um, and I've got some really, really good sort of feedback to, uh, to give you about this, okay? So stay tuned. Uh, before we get into the video, I wanna urge everyone to subscribe to the channel and follow along. You know, we've been pumping out videos, we've got a lot of cool stuff coming in the next little while. Uh, so follow the channel, like, subscribe, share, uh, and join the community. And uh, let's get into this new Lexus ES. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, right off the bat, I just would like to say a big thanks to Lexus America or Lexus USA um, and my local Lexus dealership for giving me an opportunity to be in this car. Um, this car being a 2021 ES350 uh, base model. Um, you know, I've had it for about a week and I've really, really enjoyed my, my time with this vehicle. Um, a little bit of information about this car as we sort of get into this review um, and as you have the sort of visual there on screen uh, this one's finished in imminent white pearl again it's the 2021 model obviously the car has been facelifted uh, in 2022 with a couple little no major facelift just a couple little sort of odds and ends a couple little things uh, different to it but nothing uh, nothing major uh, this one again finished in imminent uh, white pearl uh, the interior is Chateau new Lux with striated black film trim How's that for an interior name? Try and say that three times uh, without uh, without laughing um, anyways uh, this vehicle the ES sort of line is the mid-range line of of the Lexus sort of model or, or, or fleet uh, coming in just above in terms of spaciousness in terms of size coming in just above the IS line and just below the GS so GS if you're looking for something a little more um, sort of spacious IS if you're looking for something a little smaller um, a little bit more sporty a little bit more sort of rugged something you can throw around a little bit more uh, so the ES coming in that nice sort of sweet spot uh, right in between where you're, you're sort of encompassing, you know, the luxuriousness, you know, the comfortness of, um, you know, that family sedan, but also light enough that, you, you know, you, you, you're, you're pretty nimble, you're pretty sort of quick off the line uh, and you get that sportiness as well. So nice, uh, nice vehicle here. Nice, nice mix of the two. Okay, so obviously on screen you can see uh, things moving around. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm touching. I'm, I'm moving around. I'm, you know, I'm getting a feel for you know the leathers, you know the the, you know the sound system, the you know the control panel here. Um, again, I was with this model. I was with this vehicle for about four days. Um, and I must say, you know, in comparison to, you know, to its German counterparts, you know, BMW, Mercedes, even Audi, um, I think my, my final synopsis of this, this vehicle is that it's, it's actually a really, really good buy. And I, and I know most people buy Lexus because it is a little bit on the cheaper side, you know, maybe the affordability of, of BMW or Mercedes is not quite there, but this vehicle was was top notch, right? You you get, you know, just just take a look at this beautiful digital dashboard. You know, the colors are coming through nice and vibrant. Obviously, you can see me giving the thumbs up. I'm pretty pretty happy with it. Really vibrant colors, beautiful clock sort of worked in, blended into the, you know, to the the 12 inch display. 
you know nice big display on the on the the sort of right right in the cockpit there for you know for the driver and, and for his passenger passenger excuse me to get a good look at um, just kind of making our way around here you know you obviously you got all your your USB ports and everything you know lots of storage in there you know there's induction charging I think that's a four hundred dollar um, option um, one that I would definitely recommend going with um, and then just looking at the the sort of the the sort of haptic feedback uh, almost mouse pad like sort of user interface um, and I was actually really really impressed with this thing because you know the usability of it was really really good a lot of times you get all these these really sort of cool looking you know gimmicky sort of dials but when it comes time to actually moving them around everything is very laggy and slow and you almost don't know when you're moving your finger this one gives you a nice sort of heptic sort of feedback every time you you you're moving up um, you know up or down left or right you can feel a little sensation a little sort of a little jolt I don't want to call it an electric jolt but a little sort of jolt so that you know you can almost track your your mouse as it moves through the you know the different apps and stuff like that which is really 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 cool so again this car was a really really good buy great value um, you know I think it's you know if you're in the market for something really luxurious uh, but don't have the BMW sort of money this is kind of where it's at I would say so just getting into sort of the actual vehicle specifications here uh, we see that beautiful panorama Panamera Panamera uh, sunroof there it's a $500 edition um, you can see this is obviously a brand new model I'm taking that nice sticker off there oh that's a good feeling um, you know Lexus written on the kick pads there you know obviously to have that illuminated is you know a couple hundred dollar addition as well option um, you can see the sort of the build quality as you move through the interior here everything on the on the seats is all power adjustable a nice sort of gloss black uh, you can see the quality of the uh, you know the the leathers and everything very high quality um, just just very 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 well done here in this uh, interior all right so moving through here into the back Taking a look again, the nice, nice cream sort of leather interior, very spacious. You know, obviously being the the ES, you get a substantial amount of space. This is sort of perfect for you know a smaller family. You know, two kids in the back, you could even squeeze one more in. Mom and dad up front. You got your your 12 volt. You've got two USB areas. You know, you can plug in the iPads. You can plug in the iPods. Everything you know, iPhones. Everything you need. Uh, you got your climate control coming to the back as well. Uh, beautiful sort of trim. You know, pulling this down, got a little bit of accessibility to the to the rear cargo. You know, your necessary cup holders. Again, this stuff, the, the, this vehicle, you know, Lexus in general, has just got kind of everything you need here, right? You know, reading lamps as well. Um, you know, this car coming in starting at about forty thousand eight hundred dollars base model. See, you know this is a lot of vehicle for you know for the price I think you know the F Sport high performance vehicle comes in at 47 165 I believe and that's the top price point so you know for 40 40,000 41,000 you're getting a lot for your money it's, it's a great great bargain here so moving into the back trunk of the vehicle uh, you can see you know quite a bit of space more than enough space you know for what you're looking for it's a family vehicle you could definitely get a set if not two sets of golf clubs in there sorry about all the all the junk it's obviously a brand new vehicle so a lot of little sort of little goodies in here you know there's the there's the manual you know with with all the details uh, there's a first aid kit you know a couple of, I think it's a cargo net and a few other little little sort of bips and bobs little little odds and ends uh, it's always cool having a brand new car because you know it comes with a lot of sort of little goodies right little exciting sort of goodies um, again so you know quite a bit of space there you know a little hanger to hang your clothes you know, a few other little little sort of odds and ends looking good so I didn't want to miss any details here uh, I apologize but that that uh, rug that sort of footwell there is a little bit dirty uh, I just wanted to show you the glove compartment you know pretty standard here got everything you need pretty spacious 
one last look here the beautiful you know chunky steering wheel um, just wanted to kind of finish off with the outside there there's your um, your lane keep assist sort of stuff you know all those little safety features uh, it should be sort of you know marked that Lexus has the best safety features in its whole class um, so definitely a good buy here Lexus uh, I wanted to finish with just a little walk around again of this vehicle you can see the front being such a strong sort of looking grill I really love that that sort of fountain look I think it looks looks really 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 gorgeous um, I just wanted to finish by by saying I you know I really enjoyed my time with this car um, I rate the vehicle really really high I think it's a great buy compared to its you know again German counterparts counterparts um, I highly recommend the vehicle um, I definitely think if you're in the market for you know for a mid-size sedan um, this is kind of where it's at you know I would I would definitely sort of recommend it maybe going the F Sport um, badge you know paying the extra five thousand uh, dollars for all the extra performance you know a little bit bigger screen um, and a few other little just little extra sort of options um, so I think it's money sort of well spent in a car that already gives you so much uh, so certainly a good buy here um, guys, thanks a lot for, for tuning into the video. Um, if you've gotten some sort of, you know, some value out of this, this video, if you're in the market for a car like this uh, or other cars, um, you know, I urge you to sort of subscribe, you know, like the video so that, you know, the YouTube algorithm is, you know, is, is knowing your preferences and knowing that you're, you know, you're into videos like this. Um, I also encourage you to browse the channel a little bit. I've got a lot of different sort of cataloged vehicles. Um, on here as well. Uh, I also have a segment coffee and a cruise uh, where I actually took this ES350 for a little spin. Um, you know, and I, I give my sort of thoughts and my interests um, on how the vehicle actually drives. So, you know, if you have some value in, in, in this review and you're actually interested in how the car drives, um, I urge you to tune into that one. Uh, but again, thanks a lot for tuning into the channel. Uh, lots more on the way. Um, you know, I try to get my, my uploads done just about every week. Uh, again, if you're checking it out and you're into it, you know, you want to see some more stuff, uh, I urge you to subscribe, join the community, and let's, uh, let's keep moving forward. Okay, all the best. See you in the next one. Bye.